NumPy is a Python library for data-intensive computing. It provides tools to efficiently store and manipulate numerical arrays. We start the notebook by importing the library using the shorthand np. Before delving into NumPy, let's introduce some Python objects and functions. We begin by showing how to use the type function, which is very useful to check the type of the objects we work with. Then we introduce the list, a flexible Python container. It can be created by enclosing in squared brackets a list of comma separated items, which can be of different types. Lists can be indexed and sliced using the start stop step notation. Here we index the first item or the last item. We take a slice which contains the first two elements or the last two elements. We skip every second element or we reverse the order of the elements in the list. A particularly compact way of creating a list is by list comprehension. For instance, the list of all possible combinations within the characters of a string is here created in a single row. Or a list of strings is created from a list of integers using the format function to enforce the desired notation. It is useful to know that if you multiply a list by an integer n, you get a list containing the elements in the original list repeated n times. The range function generates an iterator of integers. An iterator can be used in a for loop just as a list. The difference between the two is that the iterator produces the integers on the fly while the integers are already in the list before the execution of the loop. When we need a wide range of integers, the range function provides a way to save memory. A range can be easily converted into a list using the list function. The range function is often used in list comprehensions, as we do here to generate a list of numbers that are divisible by 7. The number of items in a container, such as a list or a range, is returned by the len function. In Python, functions are defined using the keyword def, followed by the name of the function and its arguments in parentheses. This is a function which takes a list of numbers and returns the original list divided by its maximum value. It is good practice to add a string which briefly describes what the function does. The doc string can then be read by pressing shift, tap tap, or by writing the name of the function, followed by a question mark. Functions can also be defined in one single line using lambda expressions. This is done by writing the keyword lambda, followed by the arguments, a colon, and the expression. Both the lambda function and divide max are of the function type. The lambda function is anonymous, but it is possible to set its name. Now let's get back to the topic of this lecture. NumPy arrays can be created in several different ways. Arrays of any shapes filled with zeros or ones can be created using the functions zeros and ones. Using empty, we create an array of uninitialized entries. Two particularly useful functions are linspace and arrange. Both generate arrays of evenly spaced numbers within a range determined by the start and stop values. In linspace, we specify the number of entries, while in arrange, we specify the spacing between the values. Notice that the stop value is included in the array generated by linspace, but not in the one generated by a range. When we create a numpy array, we can specify the type of the entries. For example, here complex numbers represented by two 64-bit floats. Numpy arrays have several useful arguments. We can see that this array created with empty has three dimensions. 
the expected shape and size, and entries of the default type float64. The function reshape allows us to reshape an array to another array of same size.